my name is Rachel and I'm an agronomist from K-State and today we're going to be talking about growing degree days in corn. So I don't know about you, but my favorite temperature is between 55 and 60 degrees Fahrenheit and that's because I can go outside and I can wear a hoodie, it's nice fall weather, that's where I like it to be. You might have a different preference, but that's mine. Growing up, you may have had a certain temperature where your mom wouldn't let you wear shorts, or maybe it was too hot to wear a jacket, you had different rules in your house. Corn has rules too, as far as what temperatures it likes and what temperatures it can grow in. Corn's absolute favorite temperature is 86 degrees Fahrenheit, and the base temperature that corn needs to grow is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The maximum happens to be the same as its favorite, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. So every day, corn experiences those temperatures, different temperatures. The temperature needs to be at least 50 for corn to grow. If the temperature goes beyond 86, corn isn't gonna grow any faster than it already is because 86 is its favorite. When we're calculating growing degree days, every day we calculate the degree units that corn has accumulated in that given day by subtracting the average temperature of that day, uh, the base, we subtract the base from that average temperature. And over time, it accumulates those. So we add up the units that it gets every day. For reference, for corn to emerge, for corn to come up out of the ground, it needs 100, and, 100 to 150 growing degree day units. For it to mature and be ready to harvest, we're looking more at 1,500. So lots of numbers that we have to add together to get to maturity. So we're gonna do some examples here. So if we had a day, this is our first day, we had a minimum temperature of 50 degrees and a maximum temperature of 86 degrees. The mean, so we would add them up and divide by two, and that would give us 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's our average temperature for that day to figure out how many growing degree days, growing degree units we got in that day, we would take our average temperature, so 68 minus our base temperature, the minimum temperature that corn needs to grow, which is 50, and that would give us 18. So on this day, our corn has 18 degree units that it grew. Let's try another day. So on this particular day, we had a minimum temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit and a maximum temperature of 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you remember what we said earlier about the range of temperatures that corn needs, our base temperature, so the lowest temperature, is 50. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna correct this number to 50 degrees Fahrenheit and our maximum temperature, which is the same as corn's favorite temperature, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit, we're gonna correct our maximum to that number. So that's what was within the range that corn needs. 